Hello again, my friends. It is Ray over at Cigar Climatology with uh, another edition of Cigar Keeping 101. What I wanted to talk uh, today about, again, is uh, some of the relationship between percent moisture content, relative humidity, and temperature. Now, if you subscribe to my video series, uh, you've probably seen my uh, Cigar Keeping 101 video on that very subject. And um, what I'd like to do here a little bit is to clarify some of that video and, and maybe add a little bit more to it. Uh, we'll probably go back to the computer, we'll look at the uh, chart that I presented in that video once more, but the reason for this video is to explain a little bit about my position on percent moisture content. And the reason why I want to do that is because I get a lot of questions online with what is the correct percent moisture content. And when I represented that video and, and I made it, I really tried to make it clear that while a certain percent moisture con content was your goal in cigar keeping, or the actual number, let's say 10%, 11%, 12%, 12.5%, .5%, whatever, for all intents and purposes is really meaningless. So. What I'd like to do is to go ahead and open up that, um, uh, that screen on the computer again. So we're going to go back to the computer and we're going to look at this. And I'm going to try and explain in a little bit more detail why percent moisture content is important, but why the individual number really is not. And that is not the goal of that video. And that was never my intent to, to convey that a specific number was important when I went ahead and created that video. Thanks for tuning in. Let's go back to the computer and we'll talk a little bit more about percent moisture content. So here we are back at the computer. Um, thanks for sticking with me. And um, well, what I'd like to do here real quickly is um, just cover some of the points of the chart again, just to refresh your memory with it. Again, what I really don't want to do is completely redo that video. That's, that's not the point of this. Um, but to refresh your memory, we have a number of lines on the chart, as you can see. And the vertical lines, uh, these are the isohume lines or set humidity lines, 50, 60, 70 percent relative humidity, just for example. And then, of course, the temperature lines, these are our isothermal lines. And they are these curved lines, which are represented by the different temperatures here on the chart. And then, of course, there are the straight horizontal lines, which are the isosteric lines for percent moisture content. And what I did here is I just I, I created this little screen to, to cover these numbers. And, and I did this I did this intentionally because like I said in the beginning part of this video, I get asked what these numbers are. And frankly, I don't know. And nor do I really care to know. Now, to you, you might say, well, gee, it's, it's, it's really important to know what these are. And, and what I'd like to convince you of here today is that it's really not. Um, what is important? What, what is important to you is whether or not you can achieve whatever this number is and, and, and keep it because that's really the goal of cigar keeping. The goal of cigar keeping is not finding out what this number is. The goal is the ability to keep this number based on a set of parameters which include a certain number degree Fahrenheit or, or centigrade and a certain number relative humidity. So if just for example, let's say that my number, my number is 60 RH and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This is where I store cigars. This is where, this is the point at which cigars are perfect to me. They're not too wet, they're not too dry, they don't burn too fast, they don't burn too slow or go out. 
um, and they taste good. That's what really matters. So, you know, so, so I don't store cigars at 100 degrees Fahrenheit and, and I don't store them at 100 degrees Fahrenheit and 60% and relative humidity. Per the previous video, what that represented was a certain condition line. And that condition line represents some number. And again, the some number isn't really what's important, but the fact that it represents a condition line is what is important. So what is percent moisture content? Percent moisture content really simply is just how much water per gram of tobacco, let's say, is in your cigar, or what percentage of, uh, of a 10 gram cigar is water. Okay, so if, you, if your cigar is 10 grams and your, you, your optimum number is this line, which coincides with 10%, then your 10 gram cigar, one gram of it represents how much water is distributed in that entire cigar. So again, it's, it's fairly simple. Why is it important? Well, what's important about it is it represents a state that you get the most enjoyment out of your cigar. So we know that if, if we push your cigar storage to an extreme, um, you know, let's say up here somewhere, that, that, that one of these numbers, depending upon what it is, 15, 20, 30, 85%, what it is, I don't care that this represents mold in your cigar. And if we take the number down to the low extreme somewhere, this represents a dry cigar. This represents a cigar that smokes too fast, that crumbles when you touch it, etc., etc. So somewhere along this line, there are these two extremes where one represents a terrible smoking cigar and the other represents a terrible smoking cigar. And one represents a cigar which potentially leads to mold growth and the other represents a cigar which leads to breakage. Does it really matter to you that this is 3% and, and this is 18% or whatever it turns to be? Does it really matter? The, the answer to that is no. What should be important to you is how you get it. Okay, and, and that's where what we're going to do is real quickly, we're just going to bop over here to um, this particular piece of software, which is a, a, a graphical representation of one of my humidors working. Okay, so how you achieve it, what abilities you have to acquire it and keep it, those are things personal to you and personal to your cigar storage. Now, in my case, um, I work relatively hard at keeping it. So in this case, I'm storing at 70, um, I'm sorry, at 70 degrees Fahrenheit and at 60% uh, relative humidity. So if you're going to ask me, Ray, what are your numbers? These are the numbers that you're going to get from me. You, you're not going to get from me a percent moisture content number. You're going to get from me the means by which I can achieve a percent moisture content which represents to me an empirically proven desirable smoking condition. This is what you're going to get from me, a combination number, a combination of temperature and relative humidity. Um, how do you keep it? Well, that's, that, is, that comes in two parts. If you have a humidor such as I use and what I keep, I keep it via, via stability. I keep it by finding that percent moisture content empirically by continually smoking, judging, smoking, judging, judging, smoking cigars and moving these points of temperature and relative humidity up or down based on my ability to acquire these lines and to keep them and adjusting them to a point where the cigar tastes best and actually performs best for me. So then the question becomes, how do you keep them? 
and 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 that's not up to me that's up to you the the previous video showed you that if we choose one of these horizontal lines and it can be represented by a couple of points on this chart let's say it's 70 degrees uh, well we'll pick a 70 degree Fahrenheit which is maybe about here and 60 percent relative humidity this this also is giving me a horizontal line let's just go ahead and throw one in here real quick so let's uh, let's toss a line in there bang and and we'll just draw it from here and we'll draw it straight across just like this other line and we're gonna say well that's Ray's number right there that's that that's what he's trying to achieve and that is represented by 70 degrees or I'm sorry 60 RH and 70 degrees Fahrenheit what matters to me is that I can maintain this line and that there is some variation between the relative humidity that I pick and where it lands on this line and the temperature that I pick and where it lands on this line. That was the gist of the previous video and that is the chart. That it corresponds to, let's say, I don't know, uh, you know, this isn't 11. Um, you know, maybe this is 11.3 or 11.5 percent moisture content. What that number is doesn't matter. It doesn't. It it, it shouldn't matter to you, and it, it shouldn't matter within the context of our conversation. What should matter to you is that you can achieve it in your humidor by empirically testing your cigars, and that you can keep it in your humidor by adjusting either your relative humidity or your temperature to keep you on this line. Um, I've already gone over this. How do I know that it's right for you? Or how do I know that it's right for me? Well, it's empirically derived. It's not, it's, not, it's not derived from some machine that tells me that it's 11.2% moisture content. Because even if I gave you that number, it's meaningless to you unless you can smoke the cigar and you can say, Ray, that is a good cigar. That's the condition that I want. That's the burn rate that I want. That's 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 the taste that I want. That's the lack of mold. That's the lack of fracturing the cigar that I want. What is the right number? Again, this is meaningless. What is meaningful is that the right number is derived from relative humidity and some temperature. And lastly, why do you care? You care because in the extremes you have mold or a dry brittle cigar or a cigar that just tastes lousy or a cigar that just tastes lousy or a cigar that maybe tastes a little bit better but isn't perfect. Or how about this? You finally get to a point to where you achieve what you consider are the perfect conditions which represent a cigar that has no mold, a cigar that is not dry and brittle, and a cigar that burns perfectly. This is the somewhere, somewhere on this uh, on this scale up and down is 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 your number that represents the cigar that tastes perfect, that is not moldy, that is not too dry and brittle. And that really is the whole gist of this chart and the whole gist of this argument. So if, if you're thinking about asking me, Ray, what is the percent moisture content number? A, I'm not gonna give it to you. I'm not gonna give it to you because I don't know what it is and nor do I really care. What I do care about is what the cigar tastes like, how well the cigar smokes, and whether this is, the cigar will deteriorate in my care based on my ability to store it somewhere. And if this is my ability to store it, and I can stably store my 
cigars in this environment and suddenly my cigars become moldy what do I know that I need to reduce this number this RH number to bring down percent moisture content or I need to increase this number this temperature component to reduce percent moisture com uh, content what if my cigar is too brittle if my cigar is too brittle what do I need to do I need to increase this relative humidity amount to make my cigar more pliable and less brittle or if I cannot do that what can I do I can reduce this temperature line to some point at which the cigar becomes more pliable more wet a higher percent moisture content that was the gist of that previous video hopefully this opens the door and explains my position a little bit better the, the whole idea of the chart, let's go back, the whole idea of the chart was never to attain this number. What it was was to attain a certain line, let's say this line, which represented how do I get it, how do I keep it, what's perfect, what is the perfect set of conditions. The set of conditions are a certain temperature and a certain relative humidity, which gives me a certain set of conditions and a vertical line somewhere on this chart, which represents some number that really does not make a darn bit of difference whether in fact I actually know it. Uh, hopefully I didn't lose you in that. I know this video got a little long. I uh, repeated myself a number of times, but uh, hopefully you got the gist out of it. This number is not the goal. This line, knowing where it is from smoking your stock and being able to store your stock within a certain set of parameters, temperature, relative humidity, that was the goal. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.